The trial of a former student accused of taking part in a gang sexual assault of another teen here at St. Michael's College School is underway. It was back in November 2018 when the disturbing scene was recorded on cell phone video and shared by students across Toronto. Today, the former principal of St. Mike's took the stand as the defense grilled him on how he handled the rape of a child and why he never summoned police. We have a problem, a serious problem. Six days after he first learned of a sexual assault at St. Mike's, then principal Greg Reeves spoke to the media at this press conference. Three days later, he'd resign. A former student has pled not guilty to two counts of gang sexual assault, sexual assault with a weapon, and assault with a weapon for his alleged involvement in the rape of two boys with a broomstick inside the St. Mike's football locker room. The identities of the accused and the victims are protected under the Young Offenders Act and a court-ordered publication ban. Three other members of the St. Mike's football team have already pled guilty. Today, Reeve said he first learned of a sexual assault the evening of Monday, November 12, 2018, when a student showed up at his office with the video. He claims he didn't ask the student any questions. Instead, he told him to email the video to him immediately. He also told the court he couldn't identify any of the students in the video at the time. The next day, he called his VPs and eventually the football team's coaches, who were able to identify four suspects and a victim. One of those suspects, Reeves alleges, is the teenager on trial. The following day, Reeves conducted his own investigation, speaking to students and their parents. On Wednesday, three days after receiving the video, Toronto police arrived at the school to investigate, after City News called police after we received a tip. Reeves claims he was planning to call police, but he never did. Toronto defence lawyer Geary Tomlinson asked the former principal, do you believe you could have tampered with the evidence by interviewing the students before police? Reeves answered, no. Tomlinson then read out this quote from Reeves' press conference. As a school, we have responsibility to keep our students safe, but our collective best efforts have failed. The defense asked Reeves, do you believe you could do a better job investigating the criminal matter before the court than police? Reeves answered, no. The defense pushed further. Mr. Reeves, I'm going to suggest to you the reason you didn't call police is because you wanted to protect the school's reputation. Reeves replied, that's not true. I made a decision. I know I'm being criticized for that. A student who says he was inside the locker rooms for both of the, quote, broomings also took the stand today. He was asked what the energy was like inside the football locker room. He said it was both one of excitement and agitation. The trial continues on March 25th. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.